Hey friends, welcome to my channel. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a little JRV Creative Friends collab. So there's a playlist below. Please follow along. These are all my friends from the JRV Creative Collab and they have great things to show you too. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so, I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any friends that you think would like this collab, please share it with them. We've worked really hard and we'd like you to join us and follow along for all of us that are trying to grow our channel. I normally do thrift hauls, but I also teach you how to paint. I'm famous for my floral and my squiggly lines. That's what makes me unique. Most people can pick out what I've painted just by the line work. However, not everyone can do it. So in this video, I teach you how to make art with the new IOD stamps. The peony stamp, you can also use the chrysanthemum, and then there's a brand new one coming out, the sunflower. Who doesn't love sunflowers? So if you are not an artist and you can't paint like this, you can just watch my video and follow along. That's what makes me unique. That's what makes my heart happy. I'll show you how to stamp, I'll show you how to mask, and then I'll show you how to paint after you're done. And it turns a plain black and white stamp into cottage core. Thanks friends, and make sure you follow everyone else. Hey everyone, we're gonna use the new IOD peony stamp. It is amazing. It's brand new. If you haven't tried it yet, you can pick yours up at thepaintedphotographer.com. We're gonna make this stamp become cottage core. So follow along and we'll do it together. I'll show you how. We're gonna paint this little table in DIY's cake batter. It's a nice cottage core color and it's a very pale yellow. For this color, you will need two to three coats. It doesn't cover as well as some of the DIY paints, but its color is really intense. Next, we're going to use the peony stamp, and this comes with a bonus mask, and I will show you how to use them on this little table. I place them all out how I want them, and then I'm going to remove everything except the main stamp, and that is the big peony. I'm using the thin mount for a backer and also for handles. I ink up my stamp with some black ink, you just squeeze it onto the stamp pad and then stop squeezing and just rub it around. And that'll get the stamp all seasoned in. Then you take your stamp and hold it directly above the stamp and pounce the ink onto the stamp, covering the entire thing. And there is a backer on there, so I'm not getting it right on my table. Turn it over, place the stamp where you want it, and this table is not sealed. That is dry chalk paint, which makes the ink adhere really well to it. If Sometimes if you seal it, it'll be slippery and you'll slip. So keep your paint dry. Then I just peel the stamp up and place the mask on top of the stamp. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's dry and then go in with the next stamp, which in this case is a leaf and I will ink that leaf up using that same backer method. Making sure my mask is in the right place, I will put this leaf stamp onto the table. Peel it off. And for this table, I want a few more in the background, so I go ahead and I add more stamps. Thank you. 
After those are all done, now I take my main mask off and it looks like that is in the foreground and everything else is in the background. That is complete. We're gonna paint this stamp. So I made sure that it was dry. This is stamped with IOD ink, which is a permanent ink. I have some small brushes here. And on my paint palette, I have Kissing Booth, Color of Coral, White Swan, and Liquid Sunshine. So I have water in a spray bottle. So the first thing that I wanna do is paint some of this big peony in the middle here. So peonies in my world are a nice bright pink. So I'm gonna water down the DIY paint and spray a little water on here. And paint that area. You can go over top of the black lines because it's waterproof, so it will not smear off. Then I want it not to be quite so transparent or opaque. So I'm going to blot some of that off. And water down my paint just a little bit more. I'm gonna add some cowgirl coral in there to give it a lighter pink. Now I'm gonna go back in with straight kissing booth. Making it darker on the edges. Then I'm gonna go in with some white and really light pink that up. getting too much I can't see my black lines You can just play with it. The water helps it spread a little bit. I'm gonna thin that out. You want it to have that watercolor appearance and that solid coverage.
sorry for the glare, that's my fluorescent lighting. But when you have paint that gets a little out of hand or too thick, just blot it off with a piece of paper toweling. Add some more water and it thins that paint down nice. Now it's time to add the green. That's what makes this pop. Adding a little yellow to that green to give them a little bright, limey green color. Right in here. I'm gonna go in with some deeper pink. Getting some of those petals. That would be on the underneath side. She's done. Now let it dry. This is so good. It's so good. You can even paint like that. That's my cottage inspired side table with the peony stamp. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll try it. Everyone can be an artist with these IOD stamps. If you need any products, please stop on over to thepaintedphotographer.com and pick them up and I'll ship them right to your front door. So until next time, happy painting.